Pirate House Swap by Abby Longstaff, illustrated by Mark Chambers. Every year the Clark family spent the summer at home in the city. Mr. Clark put up shelves and watched sport on the telly. Mrs. Clark repainted the lounge, clearly with the help of a kit. Emily played in the garden and Justin tried to join in. But this summer they wanted to do something different. They just didn't know what until Mr. Clark found an advert with the perfect answer. A house swap. There were so many different houses to choose from, but nothing seemed quite right until they turned the page and saw Holiday Home Swap. Lovely timber home, picturesque views, right on the sea. Fish, swim and sail. Sleeps for. It was perfect. Emily and Justin loved the seaside. Mrs. Clark liked swimming and Mr. Clark had visions of catching a fish this big. Their letters arrived the very next day. We saw your details and would love to swap houses next week. We live in a little house on the edge of the city. Directions attached. Ah, your house sounds just right, land lovers. With a fair wind, we will be there on the 15th. Directions in the post, ye savvy. So, the following week, the clerks left the key under the mat and set off for the coast. Following this great map. At the harbour, they followed the map. They couldn't wait to see their holiday home. What do you think it's going to be? <gasps> but when they got there, it wasn't quite what they were expecting. It's a pirate ship. The first day was hard work. Mrs. Clark accidentally fired the cannons and nearly hit a flock of seagulls. Mr. Clark dropped his glasses overboard while tangled in fishing line. Emily fell out of her hammock twice. She hit her head and Justin forgot to feed Silver the parrot. <gasps> but every day was easier and easier and before long they began to feel totally at home. Mrs. Clark could hoist the mainsail in three seconds flat. Mr. Clark caught breakfast off the starboard side. Emily mastered navigating by the stars and Justin climbed the crow's nest to look for enemies. All too soon it was time to go. The clerk said goodbye to Silver and rode back to the old pier. They were sad they had to leave so soon but it had been the best holiday ever but when they arrived home they found their housework guests had made a few changes. <gasps> they put a water pond outside, a hook on the door, cutlasses above it, washing line for sails, a pirate's flag. Oh, look, and a spoon and a sword above the window. The neighbours were not best pleased either. Mrs. Swanley's tree had been dug up in a treasure hunt. Mr. Peter's son had a tattoo. Oh dear. And Mrs. McGiggin's cat was proudly wearing a gold earring. The clerk set about putting everything right. Mr. Clark cleaned the house. And Emily and Justin replanted Mrs. Swanley's tree. Mrs. Clark washed off little Jimmy's Peter's tattoo. It was only felt it. And no one could get the earring out of the cat as he liked it too much. So Mrs. Clark gave Mrs. McCuggan some flowers. By nightfall everything was back to normal. 
Mr. Clark put the soup on, Emily set the table, and Justin got bread. And Mrs. Clark? What do we think Mrs. Clark's doing? Well, she didn't do anything. She was too busy looking at the newspaper and trying to decide who to swap with next year. Oh, look what it says there, Martian house swap. Try the holidays that's all out of this world. And the little mouse is dreaming of cheese and the little moggy is dreaming of fish.